Hello, good morning to all. Today I'm at Taiwa. So the place is located uh, at northeast from the plaza. It's about 16 kilometers from Plaza City. So it took us around one hour. So this complex is a historical complex which consists of uh, cave temples and some meditation sites. So Taiyaba is quite famous for a short hiking. So let's go and see. So this is the hiking trail starting from here. So we have to get to those cave temples. So we reach here quite early. It's pretty cold out here. And there's no local pilgrims arrived yet. So it's quite empty out here. Usually there are so many local pilgrims uh, hiking around these cave temples. There are three main cave temples and some other small temples out here. So first we are going to visit the small temple known as Rasmukonga Temple. Also, there's a footprint of Kandu uh, Ishitsuya. So this is a tender temple or tender cave temple. It was built by Shoji Atisha. So this is a stretch of George J. Bandi Atisha, the founder of Kadamba.
largest cave temple out here. So this is the largest cave temple in Taiyaba. So the temple is known as Jamba Laka. This is a statue of uh, Buddha Matya. It was built in 13th century. These are the eight Bodhisattvas. Now I'm heading toward the next uh, temple known as Chujipu Cave Temple. This is the richest center for kings and known as foreign queens. I'm said to have meditated here in uh, this temple where they discovered the self arising symbol of Buddha's body, speech, and mind. Now we are heading toward the Moon Cave or Daopuk, which is one of the three main cave temples out here. So this is Daopuk or Moon Cave Temple. So this cave temple is known as Moon Cave or Dawapuk where the Guru Pema Sambhava stayed retreat for seven months and concealed many thermal objects around Yerba including the celebrated ritual dagger of Sarah or then known as Sarah Prupa which is eventually rediscovered by Treasure finder Tachar Ruba. So, this cave is regarded as the most important cave at Tayepa. And also in the 9th century, Salon Pegdoji stay at here in solitary meditation both prior to and after his assassination of the last king of Tibet, Nandama. Now we are going down here toward the small monastery.
So Triaba is considered a very sacred place because beside these three main cave temples there are so many retreat center where so many great practitioners stay for solitary meditation for years and years around here. Especially in summer, this is a very popular place to do pilgrim and also family picnics. I'm gonna stay forever. <laughs> Ayaba is the highlight destination around Plaza. So it's, uh, it's a great, great place to do short hiking around this complex. And also the views are great out here. You can see the valleys from those rocky mountains and the caves. If you ever get a chance to visit the plaza, I would like to recommend this place, Taiyama, to what you visit. Now we are almost done with hiking, so heading back to the parking lot. Now we finished hiking around the Toyeba and now we are going to Medokunga County. It's about two hours drive.
So just now we have to pass the Metroconga County. It is the largest county around this area. So now we are heading to Tirum Nanari. So before we go, we need to check up on our car. So we need to pump up a little bit. I think that's it for the day and we will see you in the next video from Tidum Nanari.